Uh, I would like to raise two issues this morning here, if I may, uh, Leader. Uh, the first issue I would like to raise is the ongoing crippling costs of motor insurance. Uh, I would like at this point to commend uh, my Fianna Fáil colleagues in the Dáil, who today have a motion in relation to this particular issue on the CLAR. Um, the most recent report uh, issued for quarter one by the government there just recently shows that of the ten uh, uh, recommendations to be completed by the first quarter of 2017, three yet remain to be completed. Uh, and I think that's a sad indictment of the government and their performance in relation to this issue that has been ongoing now for over three years. As members would be aware, in 2014, motor insurance alone increased by 11.5%. In 2015, it rose again by over 30%. And for the 12 months up to December 16, it rose a further 12.2%. So you can clearly see how this is crippling uh, our citizens. And to give members a practical example of that, a young uh, gentleman who recently returned after being six years in Australia uh, got a quote of over €4,000 for his motor car. This is despite the fact that the same gentleman had over six years no claims bonus before he emigrated. When he contacted his insurance company, they told him that they only take into consideration the previous, most recent two years, so therefore uh, he was excluded. The ironic part about this is that we were dealing with the insurance, same insurance company. So this just highlights one example of how a simple thing like this uh, is causing serious problems. And I suppose to add injury to insult, at a time when we're encouraging our young people to come home, um, they're going to be laid with a serious bill of motor insurance upon their arrival back home again. And this clearly, clearly is not good enough. I would ask you, Leader, that uh, you would ask the Government to expedite this matter so that this issue can be raised. The other issue, very, very briefly, if I may, Cahirlach, uh, on this, uh, the day that uh, the present leader of Fine Gael and our Tisha is to give notice to our Fine Gael colleagues this afternoon about his departure, I certainly wish him well in that regard. But one of the many legacies that he may look in the rear mirror and feel very disappointed with would be health. And as I stand here today, we have over 660. 6,000 people on hospital and waiting lists in our state. It is clearly a sad indictment on the health policy of this government. And when you consider the recent statistics uh, from our census, that over the next 30 years it is estimated that the population of those over 65 will double and the population of those over 85 will quadruple. So it clearly shows two things. Number one, we have a serious problem currently. But more importantly, it also highlights that it's going to get worse based on our increase in population and the age of our population. I would ask you, uh, Leader, if you would get the Minister to come into the House and advise us of what immediate actions he plans to implement in order to tackle the current problem and what future plans he has to uh, uh, tackle the issue of our ageing population. Thank you, Senator Boyan.